Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Check out the Currency Exchange Planner, the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Dinar community. Mention the Denarian and get the mobile app added onto the planner package for free in addition to the extra 20% off for all my subscribers. Start the new year off right. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being today. With the Currency Exchange Planner on your phone at Exchange, you will have everything right in your hand you will need to safeguard your exchange. You will have all your serial numbers logged for each note, not only for fraud prevention, but as extra peace of mind with the IRS, when they come knocking at your door. We did a video on the exchange planner it is at the top of the Denarian YouTube page. It walks you through the software, and gives you a full tour of all the benefits it has to offer. Go check it out after this video. I also recently did a video on the new Carrot Bar Savings Program, if you have not checked it out yet, now is the time to get involved so I can help you to protect your money from the pending upcoming financial crash, it's free to register and you will be ahead of everyone else as de-dollarization occurs and everyone else loses their savings. Get yourself set up today, and be a part of my savings team of tomorrow. Make sure you don't lose everything in your regular bank accounts owned by the crooks at the bank that don't care about you, only making money off your money as it sits in their bank. Do you really think they just let your cash sit in a vault until you come pick it up again? One concept that people do not understand is, once you deposit your hard-earned dollars in the bank, it becomes their money until such time that you come and want it back. The Carrot Bar program is the true future of money. It is a gold savings program that takes the blockchain technology to the next level to protect your savings. It is literally the ultimate hedge against a market crash. You have the opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the ground floor of this program with me. Do yourself a favor and start backing your hard-earned cash with gold. The Carrot Bar program and the Currency Exchange Planner work hand in hand with each other in protecting your finances. The link to the Carrot Bar Savings Program and the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description drop down below. I encourage you, stay ahead of the rest, take the initiative, and join me today on the blockchain based Carrot Bar program and let me help you to save the smart way in real money. In addition to the Denarian Facebook page, I am posting on the Denarian blog as well, go check it out, all the links are in the description box below this video. The blog as well as the Facebook page have all the news throughout the day. I post them there as it comes out in real time. First article of interest for today. Abdel Mahdi, the withdrawal of foreign forces is the only way out and the American message was contradictory. The head of the caretaker government, Adel Abdul Mahdi, said, what we have proposed to the House of Representatives regarding the exit of foreign forces from Iraq is the only way out. As a caretaker government, we need to restore confidence to open new paths and we are moving in directions that lead us to a confrontational path, Abdul Mahdi said in a recorded speech during today's cabinet session. He pointed out, we lived between 2011 and 2014 without foreign forces noting that the mission of foreign forces in Iraq took on another dimension other than eliminating ISIS. We do not have any aggressive intentions against anyone and we want positive relations with everyone, and we must consult to find the best way to implement the decision to withdraw," Abdul Mahdi said. He also called all parties to work to strengthen the strength of the Iraqi government. Abdul Mahdi revealed, yesterday, we received a letter from the American leadership talking about the withdrawal before it was said that it was a mistake, noting that the Arabic translation of the American leadership's message in one of the paragraphs was the opposite of the English version. He explained, the American military command sent us a second copy of its letter, which corresponds to the English version. Abdel Mahdi stressed that, my responsibility before my people and the House of Representatives is to be clear and there are fundamental forces that did not attend the last session of the House of Representatives, noting that, everyone is under pressure, including me. He stressed, we must tackle the issue of national unity, and it is inappropriate to blame those who did not attend the last parliament session, stressing. 
Isis should not be confused with the areas taken by its incubators. Next article of interest. Tahrir Square protesters set a date for ending their sit-ins with a final message to Saleh. The protesters of Tahrir Square in Baghdad sent a message to President of the Republic Baram Saleh, describing it as the last regarding choosing a candidate to head the government. The following statement represents the aspirations and convictions of more than 80% of Tahrir Square, which is trying to break these convictions with agendas that only God knows, she said in the message published yesterday, Monday, January 6, 2020. They write their last message, 98 days after the start of the demonstrations on the 1st of last October, during which more than 600 martyrs and more than 21,000 wounded were killed, 5,000 disabled persons and more than 60 kidnapped and missing and hundreds of detainees, which our flag was in it the Iraqi flag only, and our anthem my homeland, our peaceful weapon, and our slogan we want a homeland. The sitter stressed that, our last message, which will be our last speech with you, is addressed to the President of the Republic of Iraq, and we assure him of the following. 1. That you be given the freedom to assign the personality of a temporary Prime Minister during the next few days, and that it fits with our specifications. 2. That you assign one of the names that have the acceptance in most of the sit-in, and it was announced in the squares and means of communication, to remain compatible with our specifications, and then any person pledges immediately upon his assignment to accomplish our 10 tasks that we previously announced, and work to contain the current crisis, and not to allow the infringement of our sovereignty, that sovereignty that we Iraqis will not be satisfied with, whoever it is, and for whatever pretext. We also know that all that is happening now is caused by the governments of the corruption, quota and devastation parties which have stolen this great country all that it possesses, and led us to what we are now, she said, noting that, as soon as the President of the Republic assigns a person to the Prime Minister what is new, we will announce our new initiatives from the sit in sit in to give the next government the full opportunity to accomplish its tasks, prepare for early elections, and we will continue to monitor what you do, and diagnose all the next steps. Next article of interest. Pompeo. When will the government start protecting the Iraqis from the thugs, Hezbollah brigades? On Tuesday, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo commented on the missile strike against Baghdad last Sunday. When will the government start protecting the Iraqis from the thugs of Hezbollah? Pompeo wrote, tweeting him on Twitter, attached to a video of rockets that fell in Baghdad, in which he said, while ordinary Iraqis were meeting with their families, Hezbollah battalions fire Katyusha rockets around Baghdad. He added, I am angry that the Iranian-backed terrorists still threaten the safety of the Iraqis, wondering, when will the government start protecting the Iraqis from these thugs? This, a security source revealed, yesterday, Monday, the location of the three rocket launches yesterday night in the capital, Baghdad. The source said to al Baria that the source of the rocket fire yesterday night is from the Aldora area, adding that the place specifically is the fence near the Aldora refinery. It is reported that a security source told al Akbaria last Sunday night that five Kyusha rockets were fired towards the green zone, only one of which landed near the American embassy. He explained, three injuries were recorded as a preliminary result as a result of the fall of a missile that missed the target and landed in a residential house noting that security forces began raids and searches near the rocket launch site in search of the perpetrators. Next article of interest. Editorial statement. Parliament throws the country into stupid adventures and is ready to sacrifice our lives. The protesters of Tahrir Square issued a statement about the recent developments in which they gave the President of the Republic three days to submit the name of a candidate for prime minister in the transitional period. The protesters threatened in the statement, which received Iraq Today, a copy of it, a new revolution in all of Iraq, against the backdrop of the parliament's decision, which they said was, plunging Iraq into stupid adventures. The text of the statement, our brothers, our dear sons, we have been from the first day that we went out into the arenas of protest, 
believing that this authority is represented by Parliament and the government that emanates from it, an enemy power for the people and the nation, that works against its interests and has never wavered in its destruction of non-national interests. And what happened yesterday in the Parliament session from acts that are not related to the national interest, trying to plunge Iraq into an international conflict that has nothing to do with it, and sent a negative image of it as a country totally biased in favor of an axis against another axis, which is something we totally reject and consider it as an aggression against our homeland from before a brute authority, it was the first to defend its interests, not the interests of other countries, and reject sub-affiliations in favor of belonging to their homeland. In response to the grave challenges that our dear Iraq is going through, 1. We invite you, our fellow citizens, to stand up and stand seriously against those who are trying to destroy the homeland by sticking it with foolish adventures, back to dark ages that we experienced and escaped from its clutches miraculously, in response to non-national interests, and regardless of who the intended destination, in or out of power. 2. It is necessary to speed up, without any delay, and no later than three days, by the President of the Republic choosing a temporary Prime Minister, and as his term set the stage, his task is to prepare the appropriate ground for holding early and fair elections under UN supervision for a period not exceeding six months. 3. The current parliament lacks legitimacy, due to the massive boycott of the 2018 elections, and in order to complete its legitimacy, it must not take any measures and not issue any decisions against the interests of Iraq and its oppressed people. 4. Any procrastination or delay in meeting these demands, will make the revolutionaries of the sit-in squads on a date to repeat the revolution of 1st October 2019 again and in a greater and greater manner and in all parts of Iraq, because the threat to the homeland is great and destructive, under the care of a messy hand that wants to throw him into the abyss, and we as revolutionaries came out and we are expecting death and we will again offer ourselves to death if the price is the security of the homeland and our dear people. Iraq and glory to the martyrs of the revolution, and shame to the killers, 6 January 2020. Next article of interest. Abdul Mahdi and NATO Secretary discuss efforts to avoid war in the region. Abdul Mahdi and NATO Secretary discuss efforts to avoid war in the region 1st July 23.03 p.m. This morning, Tuesday, Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi received a phone call from NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg. And the Prime Minister expressed, according to a statement of his office, his pride in the cooperation relations between Iraq and NATO, the statement of the government's policy and balanced relations, the position of the government and the Iraqi parliament on the presence of foreign forces and the decision to withdraw from Iraq and preserve its sovereignty. For his part, Stoltenberg stressed the importance of developing the existing cooperative relations between Iraq and NATO and the desire to support and drain Iraqi security forces, and discussed the current crisis and its security developments and efforts to avoid war in the region and reduce escalation and defuse the crisis and spare the peoples of the region and the world from the repercussions of war. Next article of interest. Crowds in Karbala and Baghdad. Iraqis rise up against the latest parliament decision. Iraqis demonstrate in Karbala with the slogan, Parliament does not represent me, send via media. The cities of Baghdad and Karbala witnessed mass popular demonstrations against the decision of the Iraqi parliament, which obliges the government to work to end the foreign presence in the country, rejecting what they considered to engage Iraq in a proxy war on Iran. The demonstrators in Karbala carry the slogans, the Iraqi parliament does not represent me. After the recent parliament decisions, the protesters do not support the legitimacy of the parliament and the decisions it has taken, said Hannah Kamal, one of the protesters. She added that, the Iraqi parliament does not represent us, and we demand that it be dissolved. The demonstrator Muhammad Ali said that the recent parliament's decisions are not in the interest of the Iraqi people, and a great chaos will happen in the country, stressing that the parliament does not represent the people, and its decisions need to be modified. Demonstrators in Karbala, rejecting the decisions of the Iraqi parliament. On Sunday, 
the Iraqi parliament asked the government to end the presence of any foreign forces on its soil by initiating a cancellation of the request for assistance submitted to the international community to fight ISIS. Parliament approved during an emergency session, which was transmitted directly through the official channel of the state and in the presence of the resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, the decision to compel the Iraqi government to preserve the sovereignty of Iraq by cancelling the request for assistance, according to what Parliament Speaker Mohammad al halbousi announced. In Monday's statement, the Iraqi demonstrators described the authority, whether in Parliament or the government, as the enemy of the nation's people, accusing the two parties of working against the interests of the nation and siding with an axis against another axis referring to the parliament's decision to compel the government to end the presence of a foreigner in the country. Parliament does not represent me slogan carried by the demonstrators in Iraq, rejecting its recent decisions. The demonstrators said in the statement that, what happened in the parliament session are actions that are not related to the national interest, and are trying to plunge Iraq into an international conflict that has nothing to do with it and sent a negative image of it as a totally biased state in favor of an axis against another axis. And they considered that what happened in Parliament was an aggression against our homeland by a brutal authority, the first of which was to defend its interests rather than the interests of other countries and renounce subsidiary affiliations in favor of belonging to their homeland. The demonstrators called in the statement that came under the title, The Last Issue, Sons of the Nation, to stand against those trying to plunge Iraq into stupid adventures, noting that these adventures will return Iraq to dark ages. The statement gave the head of the public a deadline of three days to choose an interim prime minister, and his condition set the stage. His mission is to prepare the appropriate ground for holding fair and early elections under UN supervision for a period not exceeding six months. The demonstrators believe that the current parliament lacks legitimacy due to the massive boycott of the 2018 elections, and in order to complete its legitimacy, it must not take any measures and not issue any decisions against the interests of Iraq and its oppressed people. They warned the authorities that any postponement of these demands would restore the revolution in a more and more severe manner throughout the country, especially as the danger to the homeland is great and destructive, with the care of a messy hand that wants to throw it into the abyss. Hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit my new blog and find me on Facebook, so you get the news in real time as it breaks throughout the day. Harness the power of the currency exchange planner, the number one tool made by denarians for denarians. Use the promo code FEEDENARIAN for the additional pre-negotiated discount and the mobile app added free at no charge for all my subscribers. Get on board the blockchain gold savings carrot bar program today. You don't have to wait until you're filthy rich to get involved. It's free. And the program was made so anyone can save in gold and avoid the repercussions of the possible upcoming market crash, one of the true forms of money away from the fiat system, gold. Protect your family's wealth today. I would not recommend something I do not stand behind and believe in 110%. Did you ever hear the term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? The links are in the description below. Get involved now. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now. The Denarian.